Hi guys, so I'm going to show you how to join these two using the butterfly twist method. Um, if you've already seen the videos, you know there's a butterfly blade braid <laughs> to do around the edge, which can actually be used around multiple pieces. But if you want to join two here first and then go around, um, there's two different ways to do it. And this first one is the butterfly twist. Um, and then there will be another video, short video showing you how to do the other joining method, which is the double butterfly. I think it's called the double, double butterfly twist. I'll double check the name of it. But anyway, make sure you've got your pieces the correct way round. So have a look which is the needs aside, which in that case is these two. And so what we're going to do you can use a crochet hook or just use your fingers to pull it through. Um, depends on what you find easier. Um, so this is your corner piece and you will go one up from the corner on the inside edge here. And make sure all your pieces are in a line and straight and untwisted. You're going to do the same on here. That's your corner so we're going to go to this one. We're going to hook that on and then we're going to just pull it through there. Now we've currently got our hook through this side so we're going to go to this side. So you find the next one and you make sure you've got all your strands untwisted you're going to go up and around and through from the top and then you're going to pull that through then we're going to go to this side so make sure you've got all your strands untwisted hook them on and pull it through then we go back to this side and then it through and we just keep swapping each side grabbing the next one on the list until we've got them all joined up to the corner one okay. last one here because there's the corner so we're going to go in here and then this is the last one here So that is your join for the back pressure. So you can give it a little move around, but it creates this really pretty braided join between the two. It gives this really nice join. Um, and all you do with this bit is you'll work that loop into your edging you're going to do there. You could, if you're going to leave these and like this open. You could just get some um, cord and you could tie that loop by going through all of the strands and then just joining it into the gap there. Just tie it on down there so that it sits unobstructed down there and then you could leave all these undone. But if you're going to do something with them, you can just join that one in with it. I will show you quickly. Just quickly tie. So thread it through and then you can just secure it on down like that. And then you would weave in your ends and nobody would see the join. So that would be really simple, but I'm not going to join it, tie it down, because I will do a braided edge around the edge to join them. Um, and so that one would just thread through and do the normal braided edge you do around, and it would sit along the edge and tie in, and people wouldn't notice. So I hope that's helpful and it shows you how you can do the um, twist butterfly braid and it does look really nice with the normal braided edge which was shown in a separate video so you can have a look at that. Bye bye.